JavaScript Notifications The Notifications API lets a web page or app send notifications that are displayed outside the page at the system level. This lets web apps send information to a user even if the application is idle or in the background. First you need to request permission with and then if I run that you can see it will request permission and I'm going to allow. Also you can do something after requesting permission if you put and pop up this result and it's going to say granted because I did, I granted permission to this page for notifications. Commonly you'll ask for permission to display notifications when your app is first initialized and before trying to instantiate any. The simplest way to create a notification is like this. And then if I just take this out here and run that you can see the notification in the top corner here, subscribe to JS Nuggets. You can't always choose where the notification is going to appear. It's different on different operating systems and browsers. To be thorough, you're usually going to do something more than just this. And by the way, in Chrome, the notification never goes away on its own. In some browsers it will, but I'm going to have to hit the X to make the, the notification go, go away in Chrome. So here's a more complete way to show notifications in a page. Uh, you're usually going to do more than just what we had here with just the new notification. You're going to put a little more and I want to I kind of go through this. So this is just a function that we're going to call to create the notification. And so first it's going to see if, when it says notification in window, that's just to see if the browser supports notifications. If it doesn't, it's going to give you an alert. The browser does not support notifications. But if it does support notifications, it's going to see if it's already granted. If you've already granted, if you have already granted notification, it's going to run the notifi notify function, which is going to send up the notification. I'll show you that later. And if notification is not yet granted, if the notification that permission does not equal denied, if you haven't yet denied it, but you also haven't granted it, it's going to request permission. And then if permission is granted, it's going to it's going to run this notification function. Let's scroll down to see what the, the, the notify function does. The notify function, which is called here or here, that's if we want to do the notification, it's we have var notification equals new notification, and you can pass in some parameters. We're gonna pass in the title of the notification, and then you can pass in these options. In the options, you can pass in an icon that's gonna show up in the notification, and you can pass in the body text of the notification. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to make it so if you click the notification, notification.onclick, it's going to open a web page here, carnes.cc. That's my website. And like I was saying earlier, in Chrome, the notifications do not are automatically close. However, in some browsers, they do automatically close. But just to be safe, we need to set it to close if we want to make sure it closes by itself. So to do that, we're going to set timeout and we're going to call notification.close.bind notification and 3000 here is the number of milliseconds the notification is going to be up and um, no, notice that we have the use of bind here to make sure that the close call is associated with the notification so we can see that this whole function is called notify me so what I'm going to do is just call notify me and then we'll see what happens and you can see the notification up here. So I'll just run it one more time because we set it to go in a few seconds. I'm going to put this up to a little longer here. And you can see it has the image, it has the title, it has the body of the notification. If I click it, it's going to open up carns.cc in a new tab here. Well, I'm going to close that. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Check the description for links to more information. Please subscribe and remember, use your code for good.